Good morning, everybody. I'm Amy Gutman. I'm president of the University of Pennsylvania and chair of the Presidential Commission for the Study of Bioethical Issues. On behalf of my vice chair, Jim Wagner, who is president of Emory University, and myself, I welcome you all to this, our 10th meeting. Uh, before we continue, and in order for us to continue officially, I want to recognize our designated federal officer, Dr. Lisa Lee. Lisa, would you please stand up? Lisa is the executive director of our commission. Thank you. So we have two full days ahead of us, today and tomorrow morning. We're going to continue our discussion of the ethics of whole genome sequencing. We began our work earlier this year, last year actually, and we've had many stakeholders, experts, members of the public uh, present and enrich our deliberations. We also have reached out to 18 federal agencies to learn about their relevant policies and practices, and they have been very forthcoming in their responses. And I'm really pleased to say we've received extensive and thoughtful public comment in response to our request for information that's published in the Federal Register in this past March. And we have circulated those comments among all the Commission members, and we will take them into account in our final report. Today, as in our past meetings, we will hear expert presentations. We will then transition to the sessions that really will enable the Commission to deliberate in public about our recommendations, uh, to <coughs> discuss what um, we are tentatively at this point, but by the end of this meeting, we will have some more developed sense of the Commission's recommendations to um, President Obama. And after we conclude tomorrow's discussion section, we will turn to another ongoing project, which is the Commission's ethical review of pediatric medical countermeasures, um, the research on them and the ethics of them. So I'd like to take a moment before we begin to explain how we will take comments from the audience. And I really encourage people who have questions to do this, which is there are um, cards outside at the registration desk. You write your question and comment down, uh, give it to any member of the staff. They will deliver it up here to Jim and me. And time permitting, and we hope there will be time, we will read and respond to your questions. Uh, would the members of the commission staff please stand up so everyone knows who, and they all have uh, name tags. There you go. And we brought some cards in here. So if you want cards, they're easily accessible. Hillary, Hillary, why don't you, there we go. Okay. Um, that's all I have to say before we begin, but I'd like to give Jim Wagner, our vice chair, an opportunity to welcome everyone. Thank you, Amy, and good morning to you, by the way, and good morning to all. Um, like you, Amy, I have, and we all have really benefited from the uh, input from expert testimony during our prior deliberations. We're grateful for public and federal agency comment on this subject and continue to be challenged by that fundamental charge, you know, that uh, we got from the White House, which was to discern what constitutes ethically appropriate and sufficient regulatory policy and practice to ensure that all society is able to maximize the benefits to be gained by the advancement of medical science and technology, in this case, uh, this morning, anyway, whole, whole genome sequencing, while at the same time minimizing risk to society and to individuals, especially those most vulnerable. I think it's helpful every now and then to, uh, at least it is for me, to be reminded of that charge because it is a charge to help chart a path for benefit and progress, recognizing that doing so will necessarily incur some level of risk. Our job is to discern and offer opinion on what constitutes acceptable risk and how to ensure that that level of risk is not, uh, is not exceeded. So it's in that spirit that I welcome the commissioners this morning. I welcome our experts who will be with us, the staff. Welcome to you folks and, and the public who will participate and thank everyone for their assistance in this uh, discernment process. Terrific. Back thank, to you. Thank you. 
So we're beginning our morning with a discussion of how technology is changing views of privacy. And it is the case uh, that privacy, while a continuing value, has changed um, culturally as to where the lines that are considered private and public are over time. And technology certainly has contributed its fair share to those shifting lines. We will hear from two speakers and then we'll open the session for questions and discussion. Um, and I'm going to ask both of our speakers to come up.